everyone is doing well thank you for joining me on this video I just wanted to start this off by sharing some really really great news a few days ago actually um, actually one week ago today is Saturday last Friday um, I actually got my first acceptance and it was to my top duo school and um, I really didn't feel comfortable going on camera and having like a live reaction because quite honestly I was not expecting it and when I checked my email it just said you know um, welcome accepted students and then when I opened it it said congratulations um, and I was in shock for like 20-30 minutes my hands were shaking I was crying um, the first person I called was my mom and I was I was so emotional she couldn't even understand like half the stuff that I was saying um, but it just it, it came as such a shock to me because I basically, this was my first interview that I had and I thought it went really, really well. You know, I didn't have any concerns after the interview. Um, it was actually the interview that I had posted on YouTube. That was my first interview and um, I clicked really well with my interviewer and I had no concerns, you know, per se. Sometimes when you finish an interview, you start analyzing things and finding, you know, mistakes that you made. Um, but with this interview, you know, everything just kind of flawed really well. It was 30 minutes, just very relaxing. And, you know, it was just a regular conversation. I felt very good about it. And for, you know, four weeks, I waited nothing. Um, six weeks, I waited nothing. And at this point, it was like seven weeks, seven and a half. And from what I've heard, you know, in four to six weeks, you should hear back from a school, um, especially this school. And, you know, I just, I had so much anxiety and I just, I thought the worst. I can't explain it. It's just, whew, um, it just got me so emotional because, it, like I said, it was my top duo school. It was my first acceptance. And according to my mentor, it's pretty early on. Um, right now is November 21. When I post this, it'll be probably um, a few days later. And I got this around, I think it was November 15th, 16th, or 18th, um, somewhere along those lines. It was that Friday. With the pandemic, there's so many changes to the timeline. Um, I really don't know. When people ask me, you know, did you hear back from any schools? When do you expect to receive interviews, rejections? I honestly don't know. Um, I feel like in general every school has their own you know schedule their own kind of system of doing things but especially this year the timeline is so um, kind of skewed in one direction um, not sure you know what stage I'm at I'm not sure if it's good that I have three interviews so far I'm not sure if it's bad I'm not sure if I should have more or less there's just so much uncertainty um, this cycle and it was honestly just causing me so much anxiety not knowing what's going on not knowing how I guess competitive my application is among everyone else um, and not hearing back from any school for such a long period of time um, it's it's definitely been a nerve-wracking process I'm sure you guys relate if you guys are applying or you know have applied in the past it's just a very difficult emotionally difficult process um, to prepare for ap your applications and then while you're waiting um, to hear back from schools they're both extremely stressful kind of um, you know times and to have my first acceptance it it puts so much weight off my shoulders you know i feel so much more at peace because even worst case scenario i end up going to the school i would be so 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 happy and grateful it, it was you know i vibed so well with the school um i love the wellness aspect of the school there's so much emphasis on student well-being you know student mental health um so much of what i do you know art um gardening things like that there's so much space for that at this school you know they have a culinary medicine um sort of uh student run program they have um an art club someone started and i i know a lot of students that actually go to the school from my high school and from other volunteering programs i've been a part of 
and um, I would be really happy going to the school. I definitely see myself going there. Um, right now, I'm still waiting for um, just MD decisions, you know. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, just a couple more interviews. Um, I just want to have a little bit of option. I was put on hold for two schools, uh, which are both in New York. Um, which kind of surprised me because I always thought if you're an in-state resident, you would have some sort of um, preference over out-of-state students. So um, I'm pretty sure my application for them will be reviewed again after January. Um, I don't have super high hopes for holds because I feel like at that point they don't really want you or you know they already have really competitive applicants but it's better than a rejection, um, so I'm still going to remain hopeful. Um, someone told me that a hold is completely fine, that they were offered an interview and acceptance um, from a hold. So there's still some hope. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys that, you know, great news that I received a few days ago. Um, it's definitely sort of a weird topic to come on here and discuss because... Um, I don't want to sound insensitive, um, I know there's a lot of people applying, a lot of people hearing back rejections, a lot of people, you know, anxiously waiting for their acceptance, and by all means, like, I was that person um, just a few days ago, I was literally refreshing my emails, like, every day, multiple times a day, like, every hour or so, I would refresh my emails, hoping for something, so I know what that feels like, um, I just want to say that everything has its own time you know everything is sort of on its own schedule just have faith in the process i guarantee you guys will get into wherever you're meant to be wherever you will be the happiest um just give it some time have faith in the process um and have faith in yourself most importantly um something i really really want to stress is this process and the whole journey to medicine it's full of so many points where we're put down where we hit obstacles where we fail and it's it's so easy for us to blame ourselves to feel defeated to think there's something wrong with us there's something wrong with our application you know we're weak we're not strong enough it's so easy for us to get in that mindset uh i was in that mindset just um you know a little while ago but realizing that um, you know, what is meant to be will happen, whatever that may be for you. Um, everyone has a sort of different path, a different timeline. Um, you know, there's no right or wrong path. There's no right or wrong time. You know, um, your acceptance might be three months from now, but any acceptance is an acceptance. And I just want you guys to have faith in yourself. Um, you know, have faith in yourself. That is so, so, so important. Don't let this process put you down. Don't let it, you know, um, don't be so self-critical. Um, I think we need to really realize that we're unique in our own way and any school would be lucky to have us. I know that sounds a little, um, you know, a little bit much, a little egotistical, whatever you might call it, but I think it's important to realize that we all have something to contribute and if a school rejects you, if a school puts you on a wait list, if they put you on hold, whatever it might be, if they don't interview you, they ghost you, um, it's not meant to be. You're not going to feel welcomed in that school if they don't want you. So only look out for schools that you really connect with, that, um, that really appreciate who you are. And I think that will help you realize that um, you are so much more than what this process makes you think you are, you know? Um, I feel like when we don't hear back from schools, we receive rejections, whatever it might be, uh, we think there's something wrong with us, that we, we failed or we're not good enough, um, but I guarantee you that is not the case. There's just a lot of great applicants and every school is looking for something different. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys sort of enjoyed my rant. I really enjoy um, just talking about things um, 
a little more abstractly um, you know like advice videos and things like that um, this was really fun just on my bed just sitting and talking to you guys sharing some good news um, I hope it was helpful to at least you know one person um, if you guys did find this video helpful or motivational whatever it might be if you have any pointers for me any tips any um, you want to update me on your stage you know where you're at in this process um, things like that you know even if you're not currently applying you know um, I would love to know what path you're on what stage you're on how it's going how you're feeling especially during this time um, just leave them in the comments below and again if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up I hope to see you guys in my next video bye